Bank of Papua New Guinea Governor Loy Bakani has confirmed that the country's foreign exchange has depleted, but PNG is not on the edge of being broke. Mr. Bakani said this afternoon that due to the shortage of revenue coming to the state's coffers, the bank had to support commercial banks with U.S. dollars to cater for the shortfall, hence the reduction of PNG's foreign reserves. Despite this, he said, with the resumption of Octedi and the proposed Papua LNG project, the foreign reserves are set to rebound in the near future. Jehabakia reports. There has been speculation over the past few months that PNG is running short of foreign currency due to overspending by the government as well as repayment of loans by the state. BPNG Governor Louis Bakani confirmed this today but added that the country is not in a desperate situation. He said the foreign reserves have fallen from around 4 billion US dollars to 1.3 billion US dollars. At the moment, what we, and that's why you see the reserves declining from 4 billion, in 4 billion US dollars, not Kina, 4 billion US dollars, back in 2012, and now we are down to 2000, uh, 1.7 billion US. It's not, um, it's a decline of over uh, close to 2, 2 billion US. Uh, it's still uh, comfortable uh, level. It's not uh, somebody. One of. Uh, it's not that we're gonna uh, be broke, but the situation we are facing is uh, what we see as a very short-term issue, a uh, short-term uh, uh, problem. The governor explained that the bank has had to use these funds to assist commercial banks to fund the import and export sectors. Mr. Bakani pointed out that the high exchange rate experienced by the country over the past few years were due to the production stage of the PNG LNG project. But once that ceased, the revenue also fell. He said the country's foreign reserves are set to rebound once the international market stabilizes and other major projects in the country begin operations. We used our foreign exchange reserves to support the, the market by giving US dollars to the banks. They then give it to the, uh, uh, pay the uh, commitments or import orders, payments by their customers, mainly the import payments. If Octet is back now, if any projects come on stream, like the ExxonMobil, the Penyang, or if the commodity price now, uh, exporters are starting to, to uh, for physician is starting next month, then obviously we will get some big, you know, some increase in the inflows of foreign currency, US dollars. That will help the situation. At the same time, I will, we will continue to supply U.S. dollars in the market to the banks to, uh, to meet some of those backlog of uh, import payments. Huh? As for the state borrowing from the International Finance Group, Mr. Bakani said this is not a government loan, but a three-year loan to commercial banks in the country. Jay Heb Akia, NBC National News, Port Mosby.